Alright, um, I decided to go ahead and, and do the recording today because when I logged in for the, the daily, first of all, what's up everybody, um, I logged in for the daily 50,000, you know, to get the, uh, the SU-100, uh, login for 60 days, um, straight, uh, it gave me a day of premium, so I'm gonna go and use that day of premium and do a day Z recording today, and then as I'm doing that, uh, uh, after I finish that, I'm going to do uh, as much World of Tanks as I can. Even not getting daily doubles and then playing after that. Try to get as much as I possible can. Hopefully I'll finish, if not, the Easy 8 both Shermans today. Hopefully. Alright, so we're going to get the turret. Which gives me 360, gives me 380 B range. Which I'll take that. And then we gotta get this and then go. So after that, we got the Sherman 3. Go ahead and buy that. Which 63 all around. It's uh and it's uh 76, 50, 50, or 63 all around. Traverse speeds less. 370 view range to 330. That's that's the big issue there. And I wanted to. The six pounder is just. I think I'm gonna switch to that one for now. All right. So I forgot I gotta switch the uh, the six pounder. I was thinking to get getting the 1500 and doing the 105, but. Uh, damage, penetration, there we go. So that's what that one looks like. Compared to just a little bit longer, giving it that little bit more, uh, five more millimeters of, uh, penetration. So, that looks good. What do you think? Nice little background. Alright, uh, so that's good. We'll have to resupply ourselves, so we'll accept that. We have to. Let's look at the turret here. It's a little taller. These are more pronounced, but doesn't really matter because they're gonna go through the turret anyway. So let's get to battle. Let's do some scouting first and run around. All right, to battle. All right. Look, have fun. Um, uh, not bad matchmaking. Probably one of the better ones. Those little titties, little nipples on the back of the turret. <laughs> For some reason, Wargaming thought it's okay in the uh, the title screen when you're saw the you know, Wargaming's camp, uh, 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 at the beginning. Where it shows the tanks and you have them in your your uh, your hangar, uh, you can't turn it all the way around. You can only deal. You can only look from like that side to that side. So I couldn't see the back of the turret, and that's fucking hilarious. Little little titties in the back. Titties in the back. T -t titties in the back. Titties in the back. T titties in the back. All right, so. I mean this looks spot each other. I'm gonna have some backup. He bounces completely off of me. There's no arty. I have a wild AMX 12T. I'm gonna try to ram him. I'm gonna ram him. God damn it. Of course. Of course. I get no fucking help. Oh, now you fucking help me and blow him up after I fucking die. I get no fucking help. Oh, there you go. Now you help me. Wow. Fucking come on. I can't blame the AT2 because he's a slow fuck, but shit. Every fucking time, this is what happens when I was getting fucking light tanks and I try to fucking... Go scout. Nobody fucking helps me. Then I fucking have to do shit myself. And as soon as I fucking die, people start blowing the fucking people I spotted away. As soon as I fucking die. 
Holy shit, this has been my games lately. Fucking hell. Because he was going to come up. Apparently he saw me. He's going to come up and shoot behind me. I was hoping he was going to continue straight on and closer to the river. I would have rammed him into the river. But he ended up turning in and then f fucked me over. And of course the looks comes out and fucking blows me away. God damn it! I fucking can't stand this shit. That's a regular fucking Sherman turret on there too, so fucking hell. Whoop do you fucking do? <sighs> Cromwell's Sherman Jumbo is gonna give me issues. Um, SU-100 is gonna be a tough son of a bitch. KV-1S. Matilda's. They, we have a platoon. They don't. That's weird. And this Sherman seems to have a less powerful engine than the the American Shermans. So it seems to. It might have the same top speed, or it's pretty good top speed, but it seems sluggish to get up to that top speed. So it takes a second for it to to get there, but. It de it's not maneuverable enough after you stopped to uh, like run around uh, heavies and shit so so even there just turning that much has dropped my speed it's T34 or type T34 I'm actually pulling away from him he might not be uh, fully He's got the, the the best gun on it, and I don't know if he has the best engine. Uh, well, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna spot VK, the T1 heavy, and the KV1 is coming this way. Oh shit! Enemy armor is damaged. Well, Crack we both hit each other, but he's got a better gun. Ammo rack is God damn ammo rack! Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna pull up so I get within 50 meters of everybody so I'm spotting anybody who comes up to this corner. But I probably won't get the spotting damage from this. There we go. Side scrape. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, VK. You have the hit points. I fucking don't. KV-85, back there. And I can't get shots on these fucking dudes. I'm gonna just spot them. Hopefully Artie fucking pays attention. I got that Sherman Jumbo behind me. Dude, you got the fucking 88. Go. made him pay just trying to be patient damn it shit
God damn it, people, come on! Can you fucking do something, please? Fuck! Held out all these fucking tanks with the help of the VK, but fuck! Sit back there and die one at a time, fucking please! Good gosh! Holy shit. Like I said, we had a platoon that was unfair, but doesn't look like it is. Because holy fucking shit, can we not do shit? The KV-85 on the other person, the VK-36 who was next to me, was doing what we're supposed to do. But, you know, his fucking partner just sat at the fucking corner and died. Like a punk son of a bitch. God damn, I hate this fucking game. That was lucky, you lucky son of a bitch bishop. Unlucky there, but l fucking lucky that that fucking Sherman didn't kill your ass outright. I've had that happen to me, trying to kill Artie and a fucking another Artie takes me out. I couldn't fucking hit that motherfucker for the life of me. My Some of my shots wouldn't fucking go through a turd of a fucking Type T-30 fucking 4. Oh my gosh. Yeah, go arty hunting. Don't worry about the mission or don't worry. Stop. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Get shot by Matilda. Keep driving. Bye. Dumbass. This is what happens when you fucking don't have fully uh, researched tanks. You can't fucking do shit. Because matchmaking is taking consideration if you're fully fucking stuck. If you're not stock, if you're fully fucking upgraded. Piece of shit. I should have fucking killed him. That fucking Type T-34. Oh, God. Less Paul? How about less more, Paul? Boy, did we not give a shit about doing anything. Just reverse. Reverse, yeah. Reverse. Reverse. Well, he got his ass fucking blown apart. He's 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 got some nuts on him because he's actually gonna go for it. He's gonna shotgun this Hellcat. Hellcat's not paying attention. Hellcat's not paying attention. He's slow getting the turret. Oh, and he doesn't kill the Hellcat outright. Good gosh. So reverse in a position where you were hit, and somebody saw that go out. So undoubtedly, Artie's gonna be about to rain down on you. And with that low health and this open top citadel, a splash damage will kill you. If they were paying attention, I don't know if they got lucky and just was shooting and thought this is a position that Artie's most likely in when they hit him here. They're gonna do it again. I would, especially when you don't see the the you see the the shell go into something, you don't see it hit the ground. So. Oh my gosh, resetting that cap has fucking forced this game into longer. Four kills for doing nothing. And a mark of excellence. Excellence. Oh, you're so fantastic. Really? Well, maybe being that maybe he was one of the ones that helping you in the corner, lobbing shells at the people in the corner. Probably, but most likely not. I go do what I need to do, do my job, and I have no fucking team who can, can comprehend anything about a fucking map. Strategic positions, possibly. So, if somebody shot here, they're probably looking. And if they don't see the flash, the muzzle flash, they've definitely seen the, the bullet leaving, so they should know somebody's here. 
Just drop a bullet on his fucking ass, please, somebody. <sighs> Tried to p keep my my tank behind this to help block. But alas, no. It's shit. It is just shit. Just give up, dude. Yes, you can help by fucking... Having some balls and going up there and trying to shoot somebody. Fucking the AMX did it. Oh my gosh. Now there's more in the cap because you see how fast the cap's going up. If they leave the cap now and try to hunt him, thank you. <sighs> Just end the game. Uh, fucking retards. Incompetent motherfucking retards. Two of my shots went in. Wow! Out of how many? 14, 3 hit. 2 did, 3 did damage. Wow, I am a fucking beast. This piece of shit 6 pounder. And when you don't use premium rounds, where more games like, well, we got premium rounds, we gotta account for that in matchmaking too, because you're fucking retards and you make a shit game. God damn, I can't stand that. Yay, now I get to spend all day playing this. Wow. Fucking hell. Let's look at this. Nope. No spotting damage after the, uh, the AMX 12T gets shot. Good job, teams, for being no thing. Alright, I'll talk to you all later. Bye. This episode brought to you by... Javawacked.com, the official sponsor of the Can Bean Dip YouTube channel.